Alright, so, uh, um, podcast. Podcast. Who needs an intro when it's already good enough? When it's already good enough, you just say hi, hello, yeah, welcome, and then, oh God. Exactly, bro! Just amazing. We had two, three, two? Two. Two three. topics planned. Two topics planned. Uh, this. The first one is a uh, Penguin Zero video about the most evil live stream ever in the 90s. Um, I have a Wikipedia page open right now. So Sunu Dinpa Shonen, which... I will get the other one open, which will come later in the video. If I go into Google Translate real quick. It's not Chinese, it's Japanese. Slap that right yeah. in. It's a... Uh, don't go Dimpa Shonen. Basically, this show was, um... It was in the 90s. It was, like, a thing. If you want, like, better, like... We're just gonna talk about it for, like, a short amount of time. But if you want a better, like, talk about it, watch Penguin Zero video, which I'm probably gonna put in the description or something. Like, yeah, or you should probably you, go. Because you're probably gonna run the channel. You should probably go check that out. Set yeah, hard. but it was a Japanese TV show from... 90s. 1998 to 2002, it says. Oh my god, 2002? I think it had other seasons. Basically, the um, first season, probably the best known challenge. There's Okay, there's other challenges. The best known challenge of the show, Nasubi, a young comedian, was forced to live over a year naked in an apartment in both Japan and Korea by living only on commercial sweepstakes. Basically, they like he says, they, they tortured this guy. Like He barely would get food. He had to win sweepstakes to get food. There was one moment where he got a bunch of, like, ramen, but turned out to be the wrong address. Oh. So it was just painful for this dude. Um, you can look up Nisubi now. He's still alive. Nisubi? Yeah. His, his name isn't actually Nisubi. It's a nickname. It's... This is... I he was called Nisubi because of, um... During the show, they... Like I said, Man's, forced him to be naked. This so, man is... His name is Tomoki Hamatsu. He was born August 3rd, 1975. He is 47 years old. We probably this, we probably butchered that. Probably butchered that. If I did butcher that, please tell me. I will do that later. But Probably not, but... <laughs> probably not. Probably not, because no. There's two videos on it, actually. There's the care. Penguin Zero one, and then there's the Atrocity Guide one. And he um, also climbed Mount Everest. He climbed Mount Everest? Yeah, it's 2016. Mm. That's, that was his third time trying to do it. But, um... Basically, he did one thing where he had to get, like, a million yen, which at the time was about 8,000 US dollars, which... Inflation. That's yeah, I don't know what likely, it is. It's likely less now. Uh, one million yen? One million... Yen 135 in, Japanese yen. 1 million yen in USD is $7,000. So it's dropped. A little bit. A little bit, but still, still a good amount of money. But yeah, and he like, had to win that. He did it twice, basically. He had to do uh, one in Japan, and they took him to Korea to celebrate, and they're like, you know what, we're making a lot of money on this, so... They did it again. Let's do it again. Yeah, they did it in Korea, and he basically at the time mastered the show, and they were like, okay, get plane ticket for economy class. <laughs> economy class for what he was doing. Economy class, yeah, and he won that in two weeks, so there's like, okay, business class. He won that quickly as well, so he had to do it until first class, which he did. And there was one last thing about it, which... Last time At first, it sounds like really nice, but um. So this. Oh, sorry, I'm messing around with Discord. Whoops. Recorded. That was last updated today. Ooh. Okay. Bonkers. And the wiki page says he was jumps to enter mail and suit stakes until he won one million yen, about U.S. ten thousand dollars. So yeah, it's, it's and it's, when he did Korea, weird. when he got the winning prize they like took him to like another room i don't know what they said but what turned it turned so it turned out to be like a in like a stage or something like that and since he won the thing the walls would fall apart and a bunch of people would start clapping cl clapping for him which at first that sounds like really sweet like 
you know. But then when you learn the... the yeah, uh, he was... What happened is, like, out of force habit, he got naked, and, like, when it happened, he was extremely confused. <laughs> oh, so he's done it so much that... Yeah. He did it out of force habit. And, by the way, he did it from... Um... Alright, so... He did both Japan and Korea. So Japan, it took him 335 days, which is 11 months. That's a long time. It's a pretty long time, yeah. But in Korea, he did it a bit quicker, but it was still just kind of painful. Um, I'm pretty sure he's a comedian. At first, they just made it like a show for like... What was the word I was thinking of? Highlights, and then they turn it into a live stream. Cause they just turn needed. They just needed the more the more money. That's my stop. Yeah, money. We all love money, don't we? We all love money. Money, 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 money. No, Nasubi is yeah. Like I said, he's still Ooh. alive. He's forty-seven years old. Um, he's got he another... lives in Fukushima, Japan. His real name is. Tomowaki Hamatsu and is a Japanese comedian represented by Office K. I have another topic for later, which is a bit more serious than the other two we're talking about because it depends on everybody. Alright. Well, talk about the Ubisoft one. Alright, so a lot of you who might watch this, I don't know, my channel's been dying recently, so it'd be a bit surprising yeah. if this got pretty big. Yeah. Um... I don't know if a lot of you have noticed, but Ubisoft in recent times has been getting worse, not better, worse with their servers. And if you try and play a lot of their multiplayer games, it sucks hard. It sucks so much. And a lot, a lot of it, they don't do anything about it. They just claim, oh, you know, maybe it's just like, maybe we just need to update our servers. No, it's not. It's the people. There's not a lot, a lot of, I can talk about on this topic because I don't, don't play Ubisoft games often. Like, I tried to play Ghost Recon Wildlands recently. Amazing game, by the way. I love that game. Amazing. Stunning. Beautiful. Th the multiplayer just didn't work. It didn't work. It just, it never worked. It, we got the strange error. Like, what's the error called? Some stupid, like, Ribera 4002 or something. <laughs> something stupid. I, I, it's a stupid name. I'm gonna go What's turn the... off my fan real quick. Keep talking. Yeah, and Far Cry 5 multiplayer doesn't work either. Ribera 40,002. And over and over and over again. And it's not just Ghost Recon or Far Cry 5. It's... It's every single game. From Six Siege to The Division. Every game that Ubisoft has its connection issue and they don't do anything about it. They do nothing. The and last, they claim it's themselves. The last <sighs> Ubisoft game I played was um Far Cry 6. Same. Or I I didn't really play Wildlands, so I would say Far Cry 6. Far too. Cry 6 is pretty fun, if I'm being honest. Pretty fun. I loved it when you burned down the uh the poison plant. Oh yeah, the poison plant. Don't spoil past the uh. The poison part where plant. You uh, don't spoil anything. I'm literally just got back in Esperanza. I. It's free on Xbox right now. But it's it's messed up what Ubisoft does, or, or what they're trying to do about it. And it's it's only Ubisoft that's having these issues. Is EA having server issues? Uh, I don't know. I don't play EA, 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 EA games either. Yeah. Really, I'm, if I'm going to be honest, the only games I've been playing recently is The Forest and just like a ton of Rockstar games. Yeah, they're having they're having some issues. It's it's much less than um Ubisoft, but it's definitely there. Yeah. EA's always had issues. EA is an issue in itself. <laughs> that is true. EA is the issue. You know, it's just, it's EA. Guys, I bet you didn't know this. EA caused um COVID nineteen. Yeah, it's it's a. They tried to cover up the conspiracy that EA wasn't behind it, but they truly were. 
Yeah, that's, you're being that's, lied to. Uh, you are being lied to. <laughs> EA Microsoft caused this. They are uh, the issue for our downfall. Dang, when did um? Shoot, dude, when did? I'm trying to think of what it's called. What from which game company? The one that we just talked about, uh, Recon Wildlands. Ubisoft. Not the not the company. Um, the game. Ghost Recon Wildlands. Yeah. That game, when did that come out? That came out... 2016 or something? Let me look it up. Because um, I played that game... 2017. 2017, dang. I played that... The, I played the heck out of that game. God, and Breakpoint came out after it. Came out two years after it. Uh, I didn't play Breakpoint. Breakpoint is stupidly fun. So EA might have their issues with their freaking servers and whatever, but I mean, I at played least the uh, the beta. They fun games. Ghost Recon <laughs> Wildlands. The only reason why I like that game is because I have a lot of nostalgia with it. Me and my brother used to play it around a lot. Um, I never really did the story missions. I sucked at the story missions, kind of. I did play the story a lot with my brother. Last time I played it was a while ago. It was like two, three months ago. I have it. Um. Uh... Oh, you have it. I, I have it installed. Yeah. Um, Ghost Recon, there's a lot of games I played when I was younger that I have a lot of memories with that I'm playing now. Yeah. Um, there's... Red Dead Redemption 2. Red Dead. I, I played that. both Red Deads. I played both Red Deads. I personally liked two more. I loved to. One is pretty fun as well. Um, I play the heck out of those games. I have. Let me check. How many hours do I have in Red Dead Two? One hundred thirty-seven hours, and I got it in July, June. I just messed around a lot. I finished the story. I'm re currently finishing uh, doing the story again because I cannot get enough of it. I love the story. What the I issue mainly... is with my computer is that it <laughs> crashes. A lot. Um, okay. The other game I'm other... playing. Keep going. Sorry. In other words, switch to game companies that are actually okay, but still slightly annoying. Square Enix. You know them. You love Square them. Enix, They're responsible yes, for I Final love Fantasy. Other games. But there's one series that people are starting to forget about that really brought them up: the Just Cause series. Just dude. Oh yeah, my after the God. failure of Just Cause 4, then it really... They don't talk about You don't see any news about Just it. Cause 4. Um, Just Cause 4. I didn't mind Just Cause 4. It was not great, was but... A, not great, but it's still good to mess around with. Yes. Like, the dogs just and, like, the puppies in that game that would just, like, kind of, like, float in the air. That was kind of funny. I... There's the German clip. History. I have history with this game series. I've played... All four games. I've played the first <gasps> Just Cause. All four games. Just Cause 2. I can show you my hours, or I can tell you my hours on Dang. 2, 3, and 4. I've only played 3. 2 two is the best, specifically because the physics are the best. Like, the vehicle physics do not even compare. Like, they are not comparable to anything else. Just Cause 3 was the only one I played. I played a little bit of Just Cause 4 during the uh, beta. I played it when it was released, and I I went through the whole game. I beat it. I finished the game. Just Cause 3 reminds me a lot of uh, the Far Cry games, which is another yeah, Ubisoft it's game series. Similar. Um, Alright. So let's see here. Just Cause 3, 256.7 hours. Jesus, dude. Just Cause 2, 155.3 hours. Just Cause 4, 60 hours. So it's pretty noticeable that all of these games are in my top 10. Yeah. Oh, top, er, speaking top of top 15. 10, what's your top 10 games? Of my all top time? 10 played games? Or oh, no, like of all, like, just top 10 games, just... like, in your opinion, of all time. Oh, of all time. Okay, so there's a game made by Arcane Studios, called Prey. This slaps maybe number 10, I'd have to say number 10. 
because I've heard Prey is pretty good. Prey is amazing. It's freaky. It's terrifying. You just you have to play it to know it. Number nine. This is a cult classic. Gary's mod. Hell yeah! It just, We're it planning on doing so a Gary's mod video soon, but I am having yeah. issues with Gmod. Yeah. So yes, yeah, yeah. Just don't don't worry about when it's going to release. Just worry that it is going to release. You know, we don't talk about it. So that's a number nine. Number eight. Phasmophobia. Phasmophobia. Now this is one's fun. Still, still working, still working out, still having to be fixed, but you know, it's so fun. <laughs> last you... played on my end, April eighteenth. Last played yesterday. Nice. Um, number seven, I'd have to say, Ultra Kill. Uh, what is that? I've never heard of that. So Ultra Kill is basically it's Doom, but it's retro. And you're a robot. I'm pretty sure Doom is already retro. <laughs> well, it's based off of Doom and it's pretty retro. Oh, did you just add me to your Steam friend list? Yep, just did it. Alright. Keep going. And you're a robot. You fuel, you fuel off of blood, which is pretty funny. Funny. The funny juice. It's like a wine punch. Uh, you should try it sometime. And mankind is dead. Since Since mankind is dead, you have to go to hell. You have to go into hell just to get your funny little Hawaiian punch. And it's so entertaining. I've played the demo. I love it. I want to get it. I might get it soon. That's all I'm going to say about it. All right. All right. All right. Top. Uh, okay. Keep going with your top list. Number six. Number six. This one is funny. This is a gooby goober game. Definitely. Goat Simulator. Never have I had so much fun beating people to death than in this game. Simply entertaining. It is a great and game. I loved it. It is a very good game. Number five. Now I'm actually going to get serious. Doom Eternal. I've never played Doom Eternal. I heard it's pretty good. I have gotten through the majority of the game. And I can tell you, it... Very good story. Very good story. Very good gameplay. It's Doom 2016 on meth. <laughs> sure, some of the models you may prefer 16 over Eternal. You saying but... that is kind of funny considering my profile picture. But it is amazing, and you should definitely play it sometime. To anyone who's watching or listening. All right. Number four. Far Cry Four. Definitely Far Cry 4. Far Cry 4 is my favorite Far Cry. Far Cry 4. Yeah, that is that a one. controversial opinion. Far Cry 4, I didn't play it a lot, but I can... It's, it looks really good. I, uh, it's I mean, very... Far Cry 3, I've never played it, but I watched the Parasitical video on it, so I have um, I have reason to say that's pretty good. Paris, Paris Knuckle. You don't like him? Uh, I do and I don't. That's a topic for another podcast. Um, one thing I'll say about Parasitical, I have been watching him since I was, like, four years old. Ugh. I'm probably gonna have to bleep that out. I don't want anybody to know my age. Alright, number number three. Minecraft. Minecraft is not the best game of all time. You cannot change my opinion on that. It is the most, one of the most profitable games it of all is, time. It is the most profitable game of all time. It is the most that downloaded is... game of all time. Um, hold on. Is that a, is it actually the most profitable game? Keep going. Most profitable. The, it's one of the most profitable games of all time, and it's the most downloaded game of all time. And because it has one hundred and it has two hundred and thirty-eight million sales. That is true. Grand Theft Auto Five on number two. Doesn't okay. Even come close. What's number two then? Number two. Ooh. Ooh, now we're getting to the ones I had to actually start deciding on. These are all my personal opinion, but Just Cause 2 it fits in my number 2 spot because my his I, my history with this game just like hits said. different. It was so fun to mess around in multiplayer. And it was so fun to just throw people, vehicles, just off of mountains and watch them tumble. <laughs> Yeah, I highly recommend playing this game if you haven't already. But the story's goofy, 
but you'll get over it. You'll live. So, you might be wondering, what is my number one? Well, I'm going to tell you, I don't have a number one. I actually, I haven't decided what my favorite game is at the moment, or what my favorite game of all time is. Because I've, I've played so many games, I can't really decide. But, if I had to say number one, if I was held at gunpoint or something, Bad Block Theater. I would say Battle Ball Theater is my favorite game of all time. I've never seen anything, or have I played that game. It, the story is so good, the gameplay is riveting, it is hilarious, it has so much humor in it. Uh, it has its dark parts, it's gruesome sometimes, sometimes, but you'll love it. it. You'll learn to love it a lot. You'll love the characters, you'll love the voice, who was in uh, Hell of a Boss, he played Serpentius. Or not Hell of a Boss Hasman, to tell. He was Serpentius. And, yeah, it's just, it's a stupidly fun game that I have a lot of memories of. My, uh, so that is, that is my list. My top ten, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna do my top five, because the rest of it is gonna be a little difficult. For number five. All right. oh, number five. Sorry, I'm trying to think. Probably... One of the Legend of Zelda I'm trying, it's one of the Legend of Zelda games, I know that for a fact. I think it's Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I love Breath Majora's of the Wild. Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask. Yeah. I love Breath of the Wild. I love all the other games. I just played the heck out of Majora's Mask when I was younger. I played the three DS version, but I have played the first version or the original version on an emulator. That game is very fun. I love the story. Love um, the story. Number four. Number four, um, I think number four, hold on, let me look through my steam real quick. Yeah, yeah, number four, uh, probably Gears Mod. Gears Mod? Oh, yeah. Do you want to know how much hours I have in Gears Mod? How many hours? 1,041. Jeez, I only have, like, what? I only have 47.9 hours in the well, game. because, I mean, you re just I recently ju got... I just yeah. bought it. Yeah, I like got the game, ago. like, two years ago. But still, 1.4 thousand hours on the game. Yeah. And Just Cause 3 isn't even my most played game. My most played game is Geometry Dash, and that has Jeez, 291 and a half nerd. hours. Well, hey, it's not my fault. Alright, number fun. number three, Dying Light. Ooh, Dying Light. Boy, do I love Dying Light. Do you have it on Steam? I do not have it on Steam. No. Oh. I cannot get enough of dying light that is genuinely one of my favorite video games one or two or the original uh the original one Ooh. i'm playing through two two is a, a fun game I like the it's environment. not as good it's not as good but it's still pretty good i've heard mixed things about dying light yeah all right number uh, two number two my one and two are both Rockstar games, but uh, it's hard to decide between these uh, these ones. But I'm just gonna go uh, number two, probably GTA Five. Ooh. A lot of like I know you heard like the cliche is like a lot of children like play GTA Five when they're like five years old. I literally just like just got this game. I wouldn't actually care playing it. I didn't, never really cared to play it, and I never really would play it. But yeah, I, I, guess that's I can respect if it is good. It is pretty good. The story is great. Uh, really love the story. I just, like, this today I did the Polito Bay heist. This is ooh. my second time playing through the game. Um, and number one is Red Dead Redemption 2, because... RDR 2. I love this game. I play this game a lot, like, when on my dad's PC, like, a, uh, or <laughs> Xbox. Like, nice. when it had came out it was it, i loved it i still do like it this game is extremely fun it's also very close to home because it's based like kind of close to where uh, we both live yeah it's pretty close it's not gonna say where of course but yeah you know um i think it's, yeah it's my favorite game I like it um, I do not like Red Dead Online. Nah, Red Dead Online. It's pretty trash. Red Dead Online is not very good. GTA Online? Now that one's better. 
still not better. Good, still not good. But it is pretty fun whenever I play it with friends. Yeah, you just have to do it with friends. Um, speaking of games, what have you been playing recently? Oh, don't hit me like this. So, I recently have been playing, I just got back into Minecraft. I've been trying to play more of that. I did, recently I did a video on modded Minecraft. Uh, I have been playing a lot of Geometry Dash recently because I am making an extreme demon. Top 75. A gaming demon. Top Top 75 levels, Art of Betrayal, stupid difficult, Nepesta's gonna have fun with it, totally. How do you say um, um, Geometry Geometry Dash on my phone in the mid-2010s? I also have been playing Gary's Mod. And Gary's Mod is pretty fun. And Roblox. And Phasmo. Phasmo, Minecraft, and Gary's Mod are my main three and geometry dash as my main four i currently have been playing um the forest forest what is the forest let me see the forest it, it was very popular like back in the day back in the day I mean, I mean, god damn it feels so weird to say uh, like 2015 as in back in the day 10 out of 10 okay seven years ago dang the forest ratings <sighs> 8.4, 81, 83. Now, I've only had it since... I have I got it two days ago. We're recording this on the 8th of August, and I got it two days ago. Um, You've been enjoying it. I have been enjoying it. I have a friend uh, that's been playing it, too. What games have you been dropping out of? Uh, what have I been dropping out of? A little yep. bit of Half-Life. Love Half-Life. I play it. A lot, actually. I do play it a lot. But I haven't been playing it as much, considering, you know, the other games. I have been dropping out of Friday Night Funk, and I am actually not going to play it anymore. Nor will I upload a video of it ever again. Friday unless Night it's Funkin'. a major song, and somebody wants me to do it. In Friday which Night case, Funkin I might. Is pretty good, if I'm being honest. It just depends on what mod you play. Now, the mod I did play was pretty embarrassing. I did. I will say that. And it's kind of cringe, because all of them are just spam songs at this point. And I'm not really going to... Sorry, one second. Alright. I have also been dropping a, a bit out of uh, Mafia, the Mafia games. I love Mafia games. I just still play them. I haven't played Mafia before. Yeah. Sure, I have, but... I mean, that's reasonable it's pretty mid it's like gta but in the past i mean there are some gta games in the past but like in the past past um yeah speaking of uh gta i forgot about the the i'm playing the gta definitive edition trilogy um because it's not very good from what i've heard or at least san andreas is pretty bad it, yeah, I, I haven't been playing a lot of that. I've been playing ma- mainly the three. Um, ooh, have you been watching anything recently? I've been watching anything. Mixed. Just mixed stuff. That's a lot of, um, mostly just memes, but also some pretty interesting world-like things. Like, ooh, China is being a loser. True. Their economy is dying currently. Communist countries be like. North Korea is also having an issue. <laughs> yeah, that's it's North Korea. So, well, I mean, it's North Korea. Their economy's dying. I've also been hearing about a lot of games that I'm that I should play and I should upload because it's gonna bring my channel alive. But the thing is, I don't want to Stream? play those games, and I don't want to be pressured into doing them. I'm. If you guys want a game. That sounds interesting, or I would want to play. Tell me, okay? Because I am running out of ideas. I'm this intending. To, I'm planned. intending on getting a stray either today or tomorrow. Stray. You're sitting at almost 200 subscribers, and you are. You I am a very low um, amount. You losers have been dropping in views. Last month was a yeah, lot of views per month, and now it's down to three and a half thousand. Three and a half thousand. 
per month or like in the last 28 days so in the last Jesus, month Jesus, dude and you losers thought three videos should get over a thousand views and nothing else one of my videos has over 10,000 one video has over 20,000 one video hey, has baby, over 30,000 my... that video is on a specific song from a mod called Demiurge you guys thought that one was amazing and a lot of you watched that I'm barely getting any views as of a recent. My latest video, 12 days ago, has 6 views. Ooh. So, um, I hey, I mean, this. your channel has a lot of subscribers. I mean, like... Last 6 days ago, 9 views. You have a lot of, sh there's a lot of subscribers. I mean, like, a little shout-out. Yeah, I mean, little. Ooh. Well, yeah. so I'm sure, I'm sure at some point, like, I will put your channel in the description. This is... This is High Lizard. This is a loser that I found. That's a hobo I found on the street. Yeah. Um. I was suffering. I was dying. My wife left me. Yeah. Kids taken away. Everything. But hey, you know. Thought you know. <laughs> yeah. Need a friend. And then I uh I bought a house and got me a five hundred dollar computer. Yep. Um. What I've been watching oh. recently is, uh, I've been watching Better Call Saul. Mm. Like, right before we got into this call, I was watching Better Call Saul. I've watched Breaking Bad. I Loved need to watch. Breaking Bad. Um, Did you watch Breaking Bad? I have not watched Breaking Bad. I need to watch. I need to start watching it, though. It's on Netflix. It's amazing. Yeah, and Better Call Saul is on AMC or something. It's also on Netflix. It's also on Netflix. Uh, season 6, the new season isn't, but... It's going to be on there pretty soon. Another thing I've been watching is I caught up on the Backrooms. Oh, Backrooms, yes. I love Backrooms. Backrooms, wonderful. Kane Pixel, great job. We Kane love Pixel's you. Kane Pixel's amazing, yes. I but don't I... know how he's not working for animation companies already. Another thing I've been watching is... um A movie that I watch, is probably, which is probably not one of my favorite movies, is... um <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, Goodfellas. Uh, Goodfellas. You watched it? I've heard of it. Yeah, but I haven't seen it. Please watch it. It is great game. M movie. Was it, um, no, he wasn't in it. Who? Chip? Uh, I was thinking DiCaprio was in it, but no. No, it was... Uh, I don't even think he started his career in the 90s. Uh, he did in uh, Titanic, but Goodfellas came out in 1990, and he was pretty young in 1990. Yeah, he was... See here, he was a... 26 in 1990. Oh, really? Yeah, I think so, because... He's old. 1990, <laughs> I was 26 after that. No, he was 16, never mind. Oh, it's 16 10 years, years off. 10 years, 10, it don't mind my math, guys. Yeah. Um, Shut up, don't bully me. Goodfellas has Robert De Niro, Robert De Niro, Ray Liotta, rest in peace Ray Liotta, by the way. To, uh... Oh. <laughs> Do you hear that? Don't mind, don't, don't mind the Xbox noise. Yeah, two Goodfellas mo uh, actors have passed away this year. Ray Liotta, he's also in, like I said, a GTA game. He's in uh, Vice City. And Paul, uh, Ray Liotta? Paul, Sora, Paul Servino passed away. Oh, they both died, okay. This year. Paul Servino passed away, like, last month. But uh, this movie has Robert De Niro, Ray Liotta, Joe Pesci... Joe Pesci is a great actor, by the way. I love Joe Pesci. All the good people. Yeah, all the great mob actors. Love Joe Pesci. Love Joe I Pesci know. mainly because he's in my favorite um, Christmas movie, Home Alone. Home Alone. Home Alone is a great movie. I love Home Alone. So, another topic. Why is Roblox so bad? Yeah, like, he's not it's... doing good recently. No, they... I don't know. Some of you play Roblox, but... I know definitely a few of my viewers do. The Roblox death sound has changed, and that Roblox pissed off death a lot sound of people. Has changed. Because they wouldn't buy the original for $10,000. Which, I mean, that's just like a... Hold on, wait one second. And they're a multi-billion dollar corporation. Yeah. So... They, um... Also, did you hear about the scandal where, um... Like... They make a bunch of money off of video games and only give, like, the creators of the games on there and only give the creators, like, a fraction, like, barely a fraction. Oh, of come on. What is their current worth right now? Roblox. 
create. Huh. Um, there's a video on it. So if you go to like the thing where you go to create, there was a thing that said, um, billion, forty billion dollars. Another thing about it, which is, I don't want to go too long about this discussion, is the Roblox stocks have gone down quite a bit. Ooh, yikes! It was at it was pretty high. Um, five days of as of the month, it is rising a bit. But you know, but that's Roblox. Today, it has gone down a lot. Today, the highest it was was fifty dollars and eighty six cents at ten a.m. Now it's $48, which is pretty low. Definitely pretty low. Let's move on from stocks, though, because we don't want to get DDoSed, or we don't want to get our personal uh, opinions listen, put into not, this podcast. It's not NFT people. We're not going to talk about NFT people. We don't want to... We're not going to talk about that. Yeah, That's going to seriously get us into something. Yeah. Um. Well, it's been Another 40 th- minutes. I think that's long enough. I think that's long enough. I think we we'll covered enough topics or enough people. Yeah for one episode there's that definitely was, stuff to talk about this this, t- this was unnamed podcast this was the what what was our first name poo cast or something yeah and it wasn't really funny it wasn't really funny no so then we're gonna call it the insomnia cast that yeah. was suggested by the hobo Me. over here yeah by you well uh 40 minutes 40 minutes All i right. think that's going to be our average length for each podcast if you liked it, you know, great, you liked it, good job. Subscribe. If you didn't like it, you know, don't subscribe and just move on. Yep. But yeah. thank you for watching, and we'll be sure to do cover this again, more to- hopefully. Topics. Cover, yeah. cover more topics. Thank bye you for bye. watching, and bye bye.